can a family ask if I'd been vaccinated during my nanny interview? Can I get fired for not getting vaccinated? Can a family require that I don't see unvaccinated friends outside of work hours? These are just a few of the questions we're being asked on a daily basis, so I thought I'd help clear it up here today. If we haven't met before, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of The Nanny Solution by Nannies on Call. Each week, I bring you new videos to educate and inspire you to get better jobs, make more money, and become respected within the industry. Let's get right to it today. This is a very controversial topic, and I've been avoiding making this video, even though we get questions all the time. I have my notes here today. Uh, usually, I just speak off the top of my head, but I had to do a lot of research on this one, so there's quite a few points we wanna cover. A few things I wanna start with is, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an expert in this field. I've done a lot of research. I'm trying to help nannies make the best decisions for them. So please consult a lawyer, consult the laws in your country. Every country is different. I'm trying to give you an overview to help you make the decisions you need to make. This is not gonna be a video on whether or not you should be vaccinated. That's up to each individual. What I'm trying to do here is give you the information so that you can make an accurate decision about how you wanna proceed with a job based on on knowing what the family can and cannot ask you either during the interview, when you're working for them, or when you're signing a contract. So let's get right to it. Everything I say here is what I know of to date. This is an unprecedented time and things are changing on a daily basis. This video is up to date as of the date of the video. Things could change tomorrow, so just keep that in mind. Question number one that we get asked all the time. Can a potential employer ask me if I've been vaccinated? And the short answer from what I understand is yes, they can ask this question. The reason is it's a pandemic and they can set it as a condition of employment. So they can ask you at the interview phase if you've been vaccinated or if you plan to get vaccinated. So this is an okay question. I know I talked to another nanny recently who said, well, you can't ask me if I'm in birth control and you can't ask me what medications I take. And that is all true. But those those things don't affect the safety of the workplace. And when you're unvaccinated and you're working with children under 12 who have been unvaccinated because there is no vaccine for them yet, it puts them at risk. They can make this a condition of employment and they do have to keep your medical information private. So it's not something they can share with friends or tell people that you've been vaccinated. That is confidential information between you and your employer. It is an allowed question again, as far as I'm aware right now. The next question we get is, if you're already working in a job, require me to be vaccinated. So there's a couple of different things with this. I've read some US documents that say that is allowed in the US. So you're gonna wanna look into that. In Canada, it's my understanding, an employer cannot require you to become vaccinated, but they do have a couple of other options and this may be true for multiple countries. They can send you home till the pandemic is deemed over and that can be done without pay. They can also make you wear full PPE when you're at work. So they may say, fine, you don't wanna get vaccinated, but in order to not be vaccinated and working in our home, we're gonna require you to wear a face mask, a shield, change your clothes when you get here, whatever it is that they want. So they can put those things in place. Now, of course, do they want to do that? I think that communication, again, I've said it in so many videos, communication, communication, communication. We've suggested it for the last year, you sit down and talk to the families that you work for and talk to them about how they feel about vaccinations, how you feel about vaccinations, whether you're getting it or not, and how you can work together to make everyone feel safe and comfortable. That's really all families are looking for is to feel safe and comfortable in their own home. Whether you're vaccinated or not, sitting down and having a conversation with the family and finding out how they feel about it and whether you're gonna get to the point where they're potentially gonna let you go because you've chosen not to be vaccinated or it could go the other way because there's families who maybe aren't vaccinated and you are. So we'll get to that. That's another question that's come up as well. Can I be fired for not getting vaccinated? The answer is yes and no. And I think it probably depends on the country you work in. Again, it's similar to the last question about can they require you to get vaccinated? No one can force you to put the vaccine in your arm, right? It's a choice, it's a human rights choice, especially here in Canada. But in certain countries, the US is one of them and potentially Canada, if you have it in your contract as a condition of your employment, 
then yes, that you can be let go for choosing not to. Now, if you were hired pre-COVID, it's likely not a condition of your employment, so they would have to redo the contract. But again, I'm not a lawyer. These things all get very technical. Sit down, talk to your family, find out, because if you're a fantastic nanny and they love you and you've been there for years, firing you because you're not getting the vaccination may be outside of what they want to do anyway. They just want to know that their family is safe, just like we talked about in the last point. So far, we have not heard of any nannies who've been fired because they have not been vaccinated. We'll just have to see how this one plays out and how, how families feel about it and how nannies feel about it going forward. Again, this is unprecedented, this is new for everyone, and we're just trying to figure it out as we go. Okay, a big one that we seem to be getting a lot is, do I need to be vaccinated to get a job? And of course, based on what we've said so far, the answer is no. But we are seeing a lot of families asking for this to be a condition of employment now. If you're choosing not to be vaccinated, it may affect the amount of jobs that are available to you. On the other side, there are families who aren't asking, and there are certainly families who aren't getting vaccinated. Maybe it's just a matter of matching up in terms of values. If your values say that you don't want to get vaccinated to the families, you're probably a better fit than a family who's incredibly strict and incredibly worried about what their nanny's doing outside of the hours in and work and if they're vaccinated and who they're socializing with, that might be a better fit for you anyway. It'll all come down to what your comfort level is, what the family's comfort level is, but they more and more families are saying they want their nannies to be vaccinated. Another one that's coming up the other way, of course, is do I need to work with a family if they refuse to get vaccinated? Because it does work both ways. And the short answer is, of course not. If you're not comfortable in the situation, the family's not getting vaccinated. We've heard through all of COVID that families are requiring nannies to have these really small social bubbles and keep their network small and not go places and not take the bus. But then they find out the families are inviting friends over on the weekend and grandma came to visit from another city. We've heard that through all of COVID. You have to do what's right for you and what you're comfortable with. If a family's not going to get vaccinated and you have been vaccinated, then you're going to want to give notice potentially if that's a deal breaker for you. You do not need to stay in a position where you feel unsafe, bottom line. You just need to give notice, find another job, and move on. And it can be very difficult, but this comes down to values and, and maybe you're not a match with that family, so it's time to move on. Recently, I saw this one in a Facebook group and I think it goes far beyond what families can do. But a nanny was saying that the family is asking her not to see her unvaccinated friends outside of work hours. So this, again, comes down to communication, and it's so hard. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Well, hopefully we're at the, the, I don't know, downward slide of the pandemic. More people are vaccinated. It's been a really long few months of trying to be careful, keeping your bubble small, not seeing your friends, not seeing your family, not doing anything fun. It, it's been really tough. For me, families asking the nanny not to hang out with unvaccinated friends or to change what they're doing outside of their work hours pushes it a little bit too far. Open communication, discussing how you're safe, what you're doing to be safe. I think the bottom line for me is that it just takes it a little bit too far. That's really just a personal opinion and my watch keeps going off, so sorry for the pings. What have we learned in this very vague <laughs> video because I'm not a lawyer and I don't know all the laws and the laws are constantly changing and these things might be tested in human rights tribunals and in in court when people sue because they had to get vaccinated. I don't know what's going to happen. No one can see in the future and know what's going to happen. But for right now, families can ask if you've been vaccinated. They can make it a condition of your employment and it could affect your potential to get other positions. It will just narrow which positions you can apply for based on what families are looking for. It doesn't mean that you're not going to find another job or, and it doesn't mean that no one's going to hire you because you're an unvaccinated nanny or a vaccinated nanny. It just means that you might have to try a little bit harder to find a family that matches your values and, and what side of the vaccinated and not vaccinated you're on. That's all. It's been a crazy year. We're all exhausted. We're all fed up. So just keep communicating, keep talking, keep being honest so that you can find the best fit between you 
and a family. In the description below, I put a few links to some articles that I read in preparing for this video. If you're looking for some more information on COVID, interviewing during COVID, we have some other videos. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next Saturday. Bye.